Hello everybody, it's Anne from Anne's Stampin' Up. Welcome to another card making day here in Simcoe, Ontario, where I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator. If you live in Canada and you don't have your own demonstrator, you can shop with me. You can reach me at stampsandtea at gmail.com or my demonstrator website is stampsandtea.stampinup.net. So welcome everybody. Um, today we're going to use a couple more um, products from the new uh, September to December mini catalogue. We're going to use the um, Reindeer Fun Suite and the, um, the DSP we're going to use is from the Sentimental Christmas Suite. Now the DSP package, um, for every package that's purchased by demonstrators, customers, whoever, uh, Stampin' Up! donates $4.00. To a charity. Now in Canada they go to a Canadian charity I understand and in the US they go to a US charity, in Europe they'll go to a European charity. So you know I mean $17 for your package of paper which is your normal price and then they donate $4 to a charity. It's a great deal and it's all for a good cause. So let's get started. I'll turn the camera down and we'll see what we're going to make today. So let's have a look. This is the front of the new December, September to December mini catalog. Can't show you what's inside because it hasn't gone live yet, but you know, I mean, if you've got your catalog, you know what's inside, you know what's there, what you like and what you don't like. Um, but I guess officially I'm not allowed to show you what's inside. But this is the package of paper we're going to use here. It's um, from the Sentimental Christmas Suite, and it's sort of. Um, Kind of like vintage paper, you know what you would see when you were a kid, you know, on Christmas cards and things. Beautiful deer here, gorgeous um, butterscotch, brownie, you know, nice toffee coloured snowflakes. Here you've got your ribbons and on the back of that you've got these beautiful Christmas trees here. Um, oops. Then you've got your beautiful old-fashioned Christmas trees with the candles on and parcels and presents and things. And it's got green stripes on the back. I think that would be um, Pretty Peacock and what else? What would the other colour be? Pretty Peacock Shaded Spruce in there. This one has beautiful Christmas stockings. You could almost cut a wreath out of that, you know, and make a beautiful picture. That's gorgeous. That That's a lovely paper. And on the back, it's, you know, a sheet that has the pattern all the way around. You could use that for a scrapbook page. You could cut it into six and use it for card fronts. Really, really versatile page to use. Uh, and then this one just has little bouquets of holly and sprigs and flowers, uh, berries and bows. And it's got beautiful real red stripes on the back. And then you've got, of course, some candles. Um sets of candles. Lovely, lovely um, midnight blue paper, you know, not quite navy, but uh, the, the blue that we use. And on the back of this one, it is, let me pull it out, it's just a lovely sheet of paper. It's just a beautiful Christmas scene with a gorgeous lamp in there and bows. And again, you know, you could cut this into six and, make, and get six beautiful card fronts from it if you are careful. You know, you're four inches, four inches, and then you cut it in half. You could get six beautiful card fronts from this. So let me just put this all away, and I'll show you what else we're going to use to make our cards today. This is the paper we're going to use to make our cards, and it has um, little deer, little birds, little sprigs around it. But I'm going to cut out a couple of, well, I'm going to cut out a circle using my decal circles dies. And what else do we have? The Reindeer Fun stamp set. We're going to use a couple of stamps, uh, sentiments out of there. Decal circles dies. I'm going to use number six and seven, I think it is, counting from the centre. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. And we've got this lovely new um, stamp and cut and emboss folder. It's a large one again, 9 by 6 I think it is. Um, it's called Forever Plaid and it's from the Reindeer, what is it called? The Reindeer, Reindeer Days a Suite? Reindeer, Reindeer Fun Suite. Um, but it's a beautiful deep 3D folder, huge. And, and it's kind of hard to see, so that's why I showed you, you know, this page here. Um, but 
again, you know, what what does it say on the bottom? A six by eight and a half. So six by nine, six by nine, really good size. So let me just put some things to one side and um, take my envelope here with all my parts in. I cut a piece off my DSP. I, cut, I just cut a four inch strip down the side and I can get out the wreaths I need, any wreaths I need. We've got some pretty peacock card stock. It is 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half, make a ten fold card, fold sits at the top. I've got a piece of uh, a scrap of DSP, uh, scrap of basic white to stamp the sentiment on and to cut out a circle. I've got um, a piece of basic white for the inside that we're going to stamp a sentiment on. I have a piece of pretty peacock. Um, let me think, what is this pretty peacock? Where's my ruler? Five and... Let me get the measurements right. This piece is five and a quarter by four. Okay. I have a piece of basic white which is going to be five and three eighths by four and one eighth because it's a mat on the card and it's just, just slightly bigger than the um, pretty peacock piece. Okay. What else do we have? The piece for the inside we're going to stamp on and we've got um, the reindeer fun stamp set which we're going to use a couple of sentiments from. Deck of dies and I think that's all we need to make this card so let's get started. Let me just pull that in so you can see my address if you want to email me. Stamps and tea at gmail.com. Alright, we have this um, 3D embossing folder and it's huge. But what I discovered is, um, you know, it's nice, it's nice very nice and straight, straight lines up and down, straight lines across, it's great. But you got to be a rebel sometimes, so I'm going to put my card in here like that. Corner, right, right off, just right, the corners are right to the edges of the card. And I'm going to take that to the um, stamp and cut and emboss machine and I'm going to emboss it just like that on that angle. I think what we're going to do is trim this piece of DSP down a little bit so that we can get both pieces through the big shot at the same time. Now when I say both pieces, I mean um, my white piece that is a backing and this patterned piece. I don't mean get the embossing folder through at the same time. Let's have a look. What have we got down here? We could also do that piece if we wanted to. So. We're going to go with this big piece here. Now I'm just going to tape this down so that I know where I am. Uh, not, not know where I am, but so that I know what I'm cutting off. Let's get some branches in there. A little bird. I'll just tape that down. And we'll move this over and we'll trim this off. There. Swing it around. So this piece can go on the plate for the big shot, just like that. And then this piece can go on the bottom. I could trim this one down as well. Put this on here. There. That'll give me lots of room to get these through the big shot. And as usual, I'll be right back. So here we are. And we've got this die here, and we've cut out the circle with the deer. And then we have this big white circle, which is just a backing for that circle. So let me just tuck these out of the way. Put that out of the way, and then we'll see. Let me move this. And then we've got the embossing folder, which we embossed on an angle. And there it is. You can use it this way with the embossing coming up, or you can use it with, what's the word, the embossing 
indented, indented I guess you could call it. It's your choice. It looks great both ways. I think I'm going to use it this way. So that's that embossing folder. We need, um, let's have a look, we need a foam mat. We need some stamps. We've got two stamps here. One says Merry Christmas, the other says May all your days be full of cheer. And we're going to use um, Pretty Peacock ink because that matches the card base. There we go. Let me just get that open. Right. What do I want to do first? I need the part that is for my inside, which is this. I just put a little eye on the, on the back. That's why I'm looking to see which piece is which because my measurements on my pieces are so close to D. And I've got a little strip there for a sentiment for the inside. Okay, so we've got Merry Christmas for the inside. No, sorry, Merry Christmas is going to go on the front. and for the inside it says may all your days be full of cheer now this card I'm calling it my wonky card there is nothing straight on this card everything's going to be off kilter so let me just get my stamp mark stamped ink and press it down on an angle just like that just because we're being silly and having fun today. There we go. I'll close that up. Right, we can put this card together. Let me see. Let's just move this out of the way. Keep all my parts together. Right, where's my card? This is my card, 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. I've got my first mat, which is 5 and three eighths by four and one eighth. Let's see, maybe I'll turn that over. It looks like it's got a mark on that side. So we're just going to put that down. Just going to use some, um, you know, some roly adhesive My tape runner. Which appears to have run out of tape just when I need it. Yep. I've got another one. Yeah, there's another one. Now this is only going to have about a sixteenth of an inch um, all the way around. So it's not a very big border and that's okay. We don't need a big border. Well, that doesn't look straight. Hold on. I'm going to try it face down first. Yeah, it's going to be straight. It's just me. So let's get it straight. There. And there. That'll do. Okay, so then we have a beautiful mat which we embossed and I think I'm going to use it this way. Okay, it doesn't matter which way you use it. Just be careful when you're putting your adhesive down because I did have, um, when I made my sample, I think I pressed too hard on my adhesive and my adhesive came, uh, it came up. My, my, I lifted a piece of card. No, I missed that corner there. So we'll just put some adhesive in the corner. Right. Let's get a little more on here. Make sure it stays down. There, that should do. And again, another sixteenth around. So you're just seeing the white edge. I'm turn it over. And give it a good press. Right. There, that looks nice. So then we've got this little piece here, which is going to be mounted on um, the white circle. Now, you can be really fussy and, and you know, 
match your little all your little edges up I don't think you really need to um, I just love the back of this paper as well but I don't think you need to match your edges up I think anywhere is going to be fine just make sure it's kind of even around the outside we've got a uh, some dimensional because this card has nothing straight on it we're going to put this on an angle like that which is most unusual I think but that's what we're going to do it's going to go about there uh, make sure I've got the card so that it opens the right way yes so there's my uh, what would you call it? Focal point? My focal point. I have um, this piece for the inside, which might as well go in now. sentiment for the front. I'll trim this down to about I think three eighths of an inch is what I decided when I made my scent my, my sample. Oh that was close. Was that too close? Yes that was too close. We don't like that. piece. Let's stamp that sentiment again. Which one is it? It's this one that says Merry Christmas. I think that's stamped better than the first time. Try and trim this again without making a big mess. So where am I? Four eighths, three eighths. I think I'm just gonna eyeball this. I'm not gonna measure. I'm just gonna trim it. Yep, that looks all right. I think we'll trim the ends a little bit because we don't want it too long. Too too long. We'll give it just about a quarter inch, maybe, past the letters. Okay. And my corner punch. This is the detailed, uh, detailed trio punch, and it has three different uh, corners on it, if you will, like a corner around it. It punches out a little oval if you wanted to thread ribbon through something, and it's got a nice little flower as well. So let's see if we can round these corners. Just, oh yes, I'll do the same again. Right, so that gave us a bit of a different shape for um, It almost gave us like a point on the ends. That's okay. We don't mind that. And again, we'll just cut the ends off the dimensionals. See if we can make those work. Put this on the front of the card. I think we'll just line it up across the corner, sort of. Middle of there. Let's see if we can make it even. There's nothing even about this card. And then we've got a bow maker. And we've got some uh, red and white twine, which goes with the set as well. 
kind of hard to see. Nice red and white Christmas twine. I'm going to take about 24 inches, I think. And I'm going to make it into, I'm going to, I'm going to put it into three even pieces. I've got more than I need there, but three even pieces. And I've got my bow maker out. Don't really need the bow maker, but we've got it. I'll keep that for another day. And I'm just going to quickly make a bow, wrap it round the posts, cross my hands over, tuck this one through. And don't pull it too tight because when you pull it too tight, you pull the two posts together. You see, you can, you can pull them together. We don't want them to be too tight. We just want them to sit there nicely. Give us a nice bow. Let it relax for a second. And then pull the knot tight. There. And we've got a lovely little bow to go on the card. And then you just pick which side you like the best. Give it a little tug to, to tighten it up. Hold your threads together, all your ends, and trim it off. There. And I'm just going to pop that on a glue dot. This way, glue dot. I'm just going to pop that up there like that. So that's it. Today's card, you can call it a wonky card, you can call it off kilter, doesn't matter. Everything's on an angle, even the sentiment on the inside. So there it is. That's today's card. It's all wonky. Everything's on an angle. I don't know what else to call it. I'm calling it a wonky card. Um, quick, simple, just using little bits from a couple of different stamp sets. Makes a beautiful card. Thanks for watching everybody. Talk to you all soon. See you next week. Bye bye.